Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for vector. So given the point P and the point Q, find unit vector in the direction of vector PQ. So find the vector PQ, where we have OQ minus OP. Kindly substitute the situation. We have 1, negative 1 and 2 minus negative 3, 0 and 4. So we will have 4, negative 1, negative 2. That is the vector P, Q. Next is to find the magnitude for the P, Q. So we have the square root, 16 plus with the 1 plus with the 4. So where we have the square root of 21 for the magnitude P, Q. Next is to substitute into the formula. We have the P, Q hat equals to vector over the magnitude of vector P, Q. So where we will have 4 over square root of 21 i minus we have 1 over square root of 21 j plus we have the situation negative 2 over square root of 21 k continue given the vector a and the vector b where the alpha is a constant if the angle between the a and the vector b is 60 find the value of beta so can we make use of the formula where we have the vector a dot with the vector b equals to magnitude of vector a multiplied with the magnitude of vector b cos theta. So can we substitute where we have a which is 2, negative 1 and 1 dot with the situation alpha 1 and 2. Magnitude of a where we have 4 plus with the 1 plus with the 1. Magnitude of b where we have alpha square plus with the 1 plus with the 4 cos 60. Can you focus on the left hand side? We have to dot the situation 2 alpha minus 1 plus with the 2 equals to square root of 6 square root of alpha plus with the 5 cos theta. So in here the cos theta is 60. So 2 alpha plus with the 1 equals to square root of 6 alpha square plus with the 30. So cos 60 we have 1 over 2. So in here we have 4 alpha plus with the 2 equals to square root of 6 alpha square plus with the 30. My suggestion is to square both sides in order to eliminate the square root. So we have 16 alpha square plus with the 16 alpha plus with the 4 minus 6 alpha square minus with the 30 equals to 0. Rewrite the situation. We have 10 alpha square plus with 16 alpha minus 26 equals to 0. Simplify, 5 alpha square plus with the 8 alpha minus with the 13 equals to 0. Can you factorize the situation? So we will have 5 alpha plus with the 13 multiply with alpha minus 1 equals to 0. So alpha will be equals to negative 13 over 5. Alpha will be equals to 1. So if we substitute and we notice that alpha equals to 1, valid. Okay, means that the vector A and the B is 60 degree for alpha equals to 1. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for random variable. Kali refers to the questions. A continuous random variable X has the property density function as follow. So my suggestion is to express the situation in a real number line. So here we have the function from 2 until 3, where we have k minus 3 plus with the X. Other than that, function 0. So the question asks us to show that k equals to 3 over 2. As we all know, the summation is equals to 1. So for the function, k minus 3 plus with the x respect to x equals to 1. So can you focus on the situation? So in here, we have k minus 3 x plus with the x squared over 2. Limit, we have 3, 2. Can we substitute the 3? So in here we have k minus 3 bracket 3 plus with 9 over 2 minus if we substitute 2 so we will have k minus 3 bracket 2 and then plus with the 2. Can we simplify the situation? So focus on this part we have 3 k minus 3 we have 2 k minus 3 so left behind we have only 1 k minus 3. Next we have 4.5 minus the 2. So we have 2.5. So where we have plus 5 over 2 equals to 1. 
So k a minus 3 is equal to 1 minus 5 over 2, where we have negative 3 over 2. k is equal to 3 over 2. And we already shown the situation. So kindly substitute the k into the real number line. Kindly refers to b. Find a cumulative distribution function, hence find the median. So refers to the part 1. t is less than or equal to 2. So integrate start from negative infinity until t for the function 0 dx. So we will have 0. So ft is equal to 0. For the second part, the t is greater than 2, less than 3. Integrate start from negative infinity until 2. Function 0 dx plus integrate. We have x minus 3 over 2 start from the limit 2 until t for the function respect to x. So for this part, we have 0. And then for this part, we will have the situation x squared over 2 minus 3x over 2. Limit t and 2. If we substitute, and we will have t squared over 2 minus 3t over 2. If we substitute the 2, and we will have 2 minus 3. So if we simplify, so we will have the second part, fd is equal to t squared over 2 minus 3t over 2 and then plus with the 1. For the third part, where we have the situation, t is greater equals to 3. So in here, we have f3 plus integrate start from 3 until t for the function 0 dx. So the fd for this part will be 1. So rewrite the function. So we have the fx or the cdf start with 0. And then the second function would be x squared minus with 3x plus with the 2 over 2. And finally, we have 1. So that is the CDF. With the domain, we have x is less than or equals to 2, x is greater than 2 and less than 3, and then x is equals to greater and equals to 3. So that is the CDF. Next, can we make use of the CDF to find the median? As we all know, in here we have three functions. Testing is not needed because we already know that the median is located in this part. So fm is equal to 1 over 2. So m squared minus 3m plus with the 2 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2. So m squared minus 3m plus 2 equals to 1. So m squared minus 3m plus with the 1 equals to 0. If we factorize the situation, negative b plus minus, we have b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, kindly substitute the situation. So, x is equal to negative b, where we have 3 plus minus square root. We have 9 minus 4a, where we have 1, and then c over 2. So, 3 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. So our x sub 1 will be equal to 3 plus with the square root of 5 over 2. x sub 2 will be equal to 3 minus square root of 5 over 2. So refers to the calculator. And we notice that we have 2.6 for the left hand side. And then we have 0 0.3 for the right hand side. So refers to the domain where we have in here, the m must be located in 2 and 3. So this one, valid. Meaning that the median x is equal to 3 plus with the square root of 5 over 2. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for special probability distribution. Kali refers to the question, Mr. Fuad is planning to go fishing this weekend. The number of fish caught per hour follow a Poisson distribution with the mean 0 0.6. So in here we have the title, Poisson distribution. 0 0.6 we have one hour refers to a find the properties that he catches at least one fish in the first hour so we have the question x greater equals to one so the title still the same 0 0.6 if we refer to the statistical table and we will have 0 0.4512 refers to question b find the properties that he catches exactly three fish so, probability is that x is equal to 3. 
if he fishes for four hours. So it means that the title x is poisonly distributed. 0 0.6 multiplied with the 4, so we have 2.4. So here we have 4 hours. So by referring to the statistical table, x greater equals to 3 minus probability stat x greater equals to 4. So we have 0 0.4303 minus 0 0.2213. If we simplify, probability stat x equals to 3 is equal to 0 0.2090. Ali refers to the question C. Given that the probability is that Mr. Fuad catches at least one fish is 0 0.95. If he fishes for three hours, so means that the title poisonally distributed, we have the lambda, and then here we have three hours. Find the lambda to the nearest integer where the lambda is the mean numbers of the fish caught per hour. So by referring to the situation, we have 1 minus probability that x is equal to 0, which is equal to 0 0.95. So probability that x is equal to 0, which is equal to 0 0.05. So E negative lambda, lambda to the power of 0 over 0 factorial equals to 0 0.05. So now we are going to find the lambda. So if we simplify for this part, actually equals to 1. Same goes to this part. So exponent negative lambda is equals to 0 0.05. So ln both sides, negative lambda is equals to ln 0 0.05. So lambda is equals to negative ln 0 0.05. So we have the lambda equals to 2.9957. So the question mentions that find the lambda to the nearest integer. So lambda nearest integer will be 3. So notice that for this case, we have the title x is poisonly distributed with 3 for 3 hours. So in here, question mentions that lambda nearest to the integer where the lambda is the mean of the fish caught per hour. So for this case, the lambda is 3. If for 1 hour, the lambda is 1. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for newton Rexon. Use the newton Rexon method to estimate the intersection point of, for the function, y equals to cos for the angle x plus pi over 2. And also the function y equals to x minus pi with the, innovation, with the initial value pi. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. So at first, we have to find the function fx. So cos bracket, we have x plus with the pi over 2 equals to x minus pi. Rearrange, so we have the function fx is equals to cos bracket x plus with the pi over 2. And then minus x plus with the pi. Continue, we have to find the f prime x. Differentiate cos, we have negative sine bracket x plus pi over 2. Differentiate the internal function x plus pi over 2, so we will have 1 over 2. Differentiate negative x, we have negative 1. Differentiate the pi, we will have 0. So rewrite the f prime x, so we will have negative sine bracket x plus with the pi over 2 over 2 minus 1. So question mentions that the initial value is the pi. So kindly substitute into the formula. x sub 1 equals to pi minus, we have the fx. So cos bracket, we have 2 pi over 2 minus the pi plus the pi over f prime x, negative sine bracket, we have 2 pi over 2 over 2 minus 1. So x sub 1, by referring to the calculator, and we will have the situation 2.1416. Repeat the process for the x sub 2. So we have 2.1416 minus, we have cos bracket 2.1416 plus with the pi over 2 minus 2.1416 plus with the pi over, we have negative psi bracket 2.1416 plus with the pi over 2 over 2 minus 1. 
So x sub 2 will be equal to 2.2403. Repeat the process and we will have 2.2412. x sub 4, 2.2412. We notice that we have the repeated cases. So in here, the root x is refers to the question, give your answer correct to three decimal places. So 2.241 will be the root for this case. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the topic, integration. Find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by the curve, where we have fx equals to exponent x over 2, y equals to 1 and y equals to exponent, is rotated about the y-axis. So we have y is equals to exponent x to the power of 2. Express the situation in terms of y. So x is equals to ln y and then multiply with the 2. So, refers to the situation, the volume. So, V equals to pi integrate. We have the situation 2 ln y squared respect to y. Limit from 1 until exponent. So, Kali refers to the situation. V is equals to pi integrate. We have 4 bracket ln y squared limit 1 until e so kindly focus on this part by using the bipart method so u is equals to ln y bracket square dv is equals to 1 dy differentiate so du equals to 2 ln y differentiate the internal function we have 1 over y and then dy Continue, V is equals to Y. So kindly substitute the situation. So in here we have V is equals to 4 pi bracket U V. So we have Y bracket ln Y bracket square minus integrate. We have the V multiply with the DU. So we will have the situation 2 ln Y. So continue, kindly focus on this part. Making use of the bipart method. So let u is equals to ln y. dv is equals to 2 dy. Integrate and differentiate. So repeat the process. So v is equals to 4 pi bracket. We have y bracket ln y bracket square minus. Kindly substitute. Again, we have the uv. So 2y ln y minus integrate we have 2 dy kindly expand the situation so we have v is equals to 4 pi bracket we have y ln y bracket square minus 2y ln y and then plus we have 2y so with the limit we have e and 1 if we substitute so v is equals to 4 pi bracket if we substitute e, so we will have e minus 2e plus 2e minus, if we substitute the 1, we will have ln 1 which is equals to 0, ln 1 which is equals to another 0, so we have plus 2. So can we close up the bracket? Simplify the situation. v is equals to 4 pi bracket. Notice that this one becomes 0, so we have e minus with the 2. So, volume, 4 pi bracket e minus 2 unit cube. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for integration and also the trapezoidal rule. Graph below show a region bounded by the curve where we have the situation stated in the graph. Shows that the area bounded is ln bracket 3 over 2. So, Kali refers to this part. In order to find the area, what we have to do is to write out the situation. We have integrate for the function. We have 1 over x bracket x plus 1 dx for the limit from 1 until 3. So refers to the situation, what we have to do is to make use of the partial fraction. So 1 over x multiply with x plus 1 equals to, we have the basic structure, x, x plus 1 function. We have the linear function, so 
the numerator will be a constant. Same goes to second part. So 1 is equal to a bracket x plus 1 plus with b x. In order to find the a and b, kindly substitute. If you want to find a, kindly substitute x equals to 0 in order to eliminate the b. If you want to sign b, then x is equal to negative 1 in order to eliminate the a. So 1 is equal to, if we substitute 0, and we will have 1 is equal to a. Continue. If we substitute negative 1, so we will have 1 is equal to negative b. So b will be equal to negative 1. So kindly substitute the situation. So integrate where we have 1 over x minus we have 1 over x plus 1 dx for the limit 1 until 3. Ln x minus ln x plus 1. We have to simplify. So it becomes ln bracket x over x plus 1. If we substitute 3 and we will have ln 3 over 4 minus if we substitute 1 and we will have ln 1 over 2. So if we combine the situation, so we will have ln where we have 3 over 4 over 1 over 2. So rewrite the situation. We have 3 over 4 multiplied with 2 over 1. So finally, we have ln 3 over 2. So we already shown the situation. And this one can consider as exact value for the area, region, refers to the graph. Kali refers to the question B. Use the trapezium rule with 4 strip. So meaning that n is equal to 4. To approximate the situation, correct the four significant figure. Next, in order to find the h. So where we have 3 minus 1 over 4, so h is equal to 1 over 2. Kindly refers to the table where we have the x. x naught is equal to 1. x sub 1 is equal to 1.5. x sub 2 equals to 2. x sub 3 is equal to 2.5. And x sub 4 is equal to 3. Function y, where we have 1 over x multiplied with x plus 1. So, y not if we substitute 1, and we will have 1 over 2. y sub 4, if we substitute 3, and we will have the situation 1 over 12. Repeat the same thing. y sub 1, if we substitute 1.5, and we will have 4 over 15. y sub 2, and we will have 1 over 6. y sub 3, we will have 4 over 30. If we sum up, we will have the situation y not plus with the y4, so we will have 7 over 12. And then for the red in color, we will have 23 over 42. Kali substitute, so the area would be 1 over 2 for the h over 2 bracket. Sum up the y not and the y4, so we have 7 over 12 plus 2 multiplied with 23 over 42. So by refers to the calculator, we have 47 over 112. That is the area. By referring to the question, question mentioned that correct the four significant figure. So 0 0.4196 will be the area. Kali refers to C. Hence, compare the two answer and give a reason for the difference. So find the difference. 0 0.4196 minus the lawn bracket 3 over 2. And we notice that the difference is 0 0.0142. So what is the reason for the difference? It's referring to the graph. So we can say there is an error for this case. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for first order differential equation. Consider a simple electric circuit with the resistance of 3 ohm and the inductance of 2H. If a battery gives a constant voltage of 24 volts, and the switch is closed when T equals to 0, and the current after the T second is given by the situation. So in here, we have T0, V also 0, and then I also equals to 0. So given the situation, A, determine the difference in the amount of current flowing through the circuit from the 4th to the 8th second. Give your answer correct to 3 decimal places. So kindly focus on the differential equation. So my suggestion is to modify. So we have the di dt equals to we have 24 minus with the 3i over 2. Simplify. So information given, we have i0 
t equals to 0. So let's begin. My suggestion is to make use of the separable variable. So in here, we have di dt. So by referring to the situation, we have 2 over 24 minus 3i. So we have 2 ln bracket 24 minus 3i. Do you remember? Differentiate the internal function and we will have the situation negative 3. t plus with the c. Simplify the situation. So we have ln bracket 24 minus 3i equals to we have negative 3 over 2t plus with the c due to the constant. So 24 minus 3i is equals to exponent negative 3 over 2t multiplied by exponent c. So we have 3i is equals to 24 minus a multiplied with exponent negative 3 over 2 so finally, we have i is equals to, we have 24 minus a exponent negative 3 over 2 t over 3. So in terms of i. So by referring to the situation, let's say given the situation, i is equals to 0, t equals to 0. So kindly substitute into this part. So we will have 3 multiplied with the 0 equals to 24 minus the a. Because exponent to the power of 0, which is equals to 1. So a is equals to 24. So kindly substitute. So i is equals to 24 minus 24 multiply exponent negative 3 over 2 t over the 3. So i is equals to 8 minus 8 multiply exponent negative 3 over 2 t. So that is the particular solution. So question asks us to find the situation, the difference between the 4th and the 8th second. So here we have i is equals to 8 minus 8 exponent negative 3 over 2 t. So t equals to 4, what is the value for i? So i is equals to 8 minus 8 exponent negative 3 over 2 multiplied with the 4. So i is equals to 8 minus 8 exponent negative 6. If t is equals to 8, what is i? So i is equals to 8 minus 8 exponent negative 3 over 2 multiplied with the 8. So i is equals to 8 minus 8 exponent negative. We have 24 divided by 2, negative 12. So 5, the difference. So the difference is i8 minus i4. So we have 8 minus 8 exponent negative 12 minus 8 minus 8 multiply exponent negative 6. So if we simplify, 8 minus 8, 0. Continue. We have 8 exponent negative 6 minus 8 exponent negative 12. So what is the difference? 0 0.0198. So that is the difference. So kindly refer to the question. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. So 0 0.0198. 2, 0. Next, if current is allowed to flow through the circuit for a very long period, so means that the t approaching infinity, estimate the i. So it refers to the situation, we have the i is equal to 8 minus 8 over exponent 3 over 2 t. If we substitute t approaching infinity, so i minus 8 minus 8 over exponent infinity, 8 over infinity, which is equal to 0. So the i will be 8 ampere. Everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for random variable. A discrete random variable x has a probability distribution given by the function as below. So my suggestion is to have a table. So in here, we have the situation x represent the random variable. And then after that, we have the probability. So if we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. By refers to the calculator, if we substitute 0, so we will have the situation 1 over k squared. If we substitute 1, so we will have 2 over k squared. If we substitute 2, and we will have 3 over k squared. If we substitute 3, and we will have 4 over k squared. If we substitute 4, 
and we will have 3 over k squared. If we substitute 5, then we will have 2 over k squared. And then finally, we have 1 over k squared. So as we all know, this is a discrete random variable. So if we sum up the situation, we will have equals to 1. By referring to the green in color stable, so we have to sum up the value because the denominator is the same. So 1 plus with the 2, we have 3. Plus with the 3, we have 6. Plus with the 4, we have 10. Then we have 16 over k squared equals to 1. So k squared is equals to 16. So k is equals to 4. k is equals to negative 4. So for this case, the value of k must be equals to positive because k is a positive constant. So kindly substitute the situation into the table. B, the cumulative distribution function. So we have the fx. If we sum up, we will have 1 over 16 without simplifying the situation. Then continue, we have the situation 6 over 16, and then we have 10 over 16, and then we have 13 over 16, and then we have 15 over 16, and then finally 1. So question mentions the function. So we have begins with the 0, followed by 1 over 16, 3 over 16, and then we have 6 over 16, which is 3 over 8. Continue, 10 over 16, where we have 5 over 8. And then we have 13 over 16, 15 over 16, and finally we have 1. So regarding the domain, refers to the random variable. So at first, we have x less than 0. And then continue, we have x greater or equals to 0 and less than 1, followed by x greater or equals to 1, less than 2, continue, greater or equals to 2, less than 3, greater or equals to 3, less than 4, greater or equals to 4, less than 5, greater or equals to 5, less than 6. And then finally, x is greater or equals to 6. So that would be the cumulative distribution function or the capital Fx. Next refers to C. We have the property modulus x minus 4 less than 3. Define the situation. We have x minus 4 greater than negative 3 less than 3. So probability is that we have x greater than we have the situation 1 less than we have the situation 7. So do remember, modify so that we have the equal sign. So x is greater or equals to 2, less than or equals to 6. Make use of the f or the CDF. So we have the f6 minus the f1. So f6, we have 1 minus the f1, we have 3 over 16. So the situation will be 13 over 16. Or... 0 0.8125 Next, in order to find the EX, we have X multiply with the probability. So kindly multiply, we have 0, we have 2 over 16, 6 over 16, we have 12 over 16, again, we have 12 over 16, then we have 10 over 16, and then finally we have 6 over 16. In order to find the EX, we have to sum up the blue in color. So where we have 2 plus with the 6 plus with the 12 plus with the 12 plus with the 10 plus with the 6. So in here, we have 24 plus with the 6, 30 plus with the 10, 40. So we will have 48 over 16. So the EX is equal to 3. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for random variable. The cumulative distribution function of a continuous random variable x is given as follow. A. Find the PDF or the probability density function and then hence compute the probability. Finally, find the EX. So in order to find the probability density function, we have to differentiate the situation. So ddx, 0. ddx, we have x cubed over 8. And then we have ddx function 1.
So we have 3x squared over 8 and then 0. Small letter f, 3x squared over 8, 0. So the domain will be x is greater or equal to 0, less than 2. Otherwise, continue. Compute the probability x is to find the ex. So ex is equal to integrate from negative infinity and to infinity f fx dx. So this part, we have integrate start from 0 until 2 for the function. We have 3x cubed over 8 respect to x. So x to the power 4 over 4. So here we have 3 over 8 over 4. So we have 2, 0. So simplify the situation. So we have 3 over 32 bracket 2 to the power of 4 where we have 16 minus with the 0. So if we simplify, we will have the ex which is equal to 3 over 2. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for Special probability distribution. The mathematic marks in an examination are distributed normally with mean 65 and the standard deviation 10. So the title, normally we have 65 and then 10 to the power of 2. If 40 is the passing marks, what is the probability that a student choose at random pass the exam? So in order to pass the exam, we have to have the questions, probability that x must be greater or equal to 40. Standardize the situation. So z greater or equal to 40 minus 65 over with the 10. So we have the probability that z greater or equal to negative 2.5. So Kali refers to the diagram. So here we have the diagram. So negative 2.5 greater than. So here will be the region. So here we have 2.5. This is the region. Rewrite the formula. We have to eliminate this part. So 1 minus probability that z greater than 2.5. By referring to the statistical table, 1 minus 0 0.00621. So the probability that we have x greater equals to 40, okay, which is equals to 0 0.9938. So that is the probability that a student chosen at random passed this exam. So continue, what is the probability that at least 2 out of 10 students pass the exam? So from here, we have 10, which is x is binomially 10, and pass the exam, we have the probability 0 0.9938. So they said at least 2. So in order to find the situation, we have 1 minus probability that x equals to 0 minus x is equals to 1. Make use of the formula, 1 minus, we have 10c0, 0, 0 0.9938 to the power of 0, and then 0 0.00621 to the power of 10. Continue, minus 10c1, 0 0.9938 to the power of 1, 0 0.00621 to the power of 9. 1 minus, we have 0 for this part and also 0 for this part. Because the value is too small. So probability that x is greater or equal to 2, which is equal to 1. So that is the probability. So kindly refers to B. How many students obtain a grade A if the numbers of students that took the exam is 150 and the marks for grade A is 80? So now we have to find the situation grade A. Just now it's the passing. This one is the grade A. So standardize, z greater or equals to 80 minus 65 over 10. So probability is that z greater or equals to 1.5. By referring to the statistical table, 0 0.0668. So that is the probability z for the students to have a grade A. So question said, how many students? So asking for numbers. So 150 multiply with 0 0.0668. So there will be... 10 students to obtain the grade A. 
C. The examination board wishes to pass 80% only of the students that took the exam. What is the passing marks? So in order to pass, let's say x must be greater or equal to a certain value or a marks. Then the probability is 0 0.8. So at first, standardize the situation. By referring to the diagram, so locate the z on the left at first. Referring to the questions, they mention that greater and equals to the situation. So here will be the region. So in order to make use of the statistical table, we have to flip the situation. So the z will become the positive. So here will be the region. So we have to rewrite the formula in order to eliminate the part on the right hand side. So 1 minus probabilities that z greater equals to a minus 65 over the 10 equals to 0 0.8. z greater equals to a minus 65 over 10 equals to 0 0.2. By referring to the statistical table, especially the page 23, so we notice that the z is equals to 0 0.8416. That is the value for this part. But do remember, the original z actually is the negative. So our answer will be the negative 0 0.8416. Next is to find the passing marks. So a minus 65 over 10 is equal to negative 0 0.8416. So a is equal to 65 minus 0 0.8416 multiplied with the 10. So a will be equal to 56.584. If you round up the situation, the passing mark will be around 57 marks. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.